Welcome, I'm following an HTC U Ultra and today I will show you how to bypass the Google verification screen. So to get started, you want to connect to Wi-Fi, which as you see right here, I already am. And I'm gonna progress a little bit further just so you can see that the device is locked, but what you want to do is just go back to the first page once you've connected to Wi-Fi. So there we go. So you can see I need to verify the account and without it, I can't progress further. So let's go back to the first page. And what we want to do is go into vision settings and then go into talkback, enable it, stop on okay. It opens up this menu right here with it being already enabled, as you can see, you can't really scroll through it. You have to, oh, you basically whatever you tap on gets selected. So what you wanna do now is draw an L, like so. Just on the screen, randomly draw an L. And we'll pop up this menu right here. So you want to go into Talkback settings. So tap on it once to select it, and then double tap it to accept it. And now we want to disable uh, this feature so we can actually scroll. And to do this, you want to hold volume down and volume up, both keys at the same time. Now for me, it appeared already with basically being enabled, but if you're doing this for the first time, it will first open up a menu asking you uh, use shortcuts or don't use shortcuts. Uh, select, for instance, use shortcuts and then hold volume up and down again once more, and then it will get disabled when the second time around without any kind of pop-up. So once you can scroll through it freely, you can then select open feedback. And in here you want to search, or if you can see it, use Morse code. So if you see it, you can just tap on it. If you don't, you want to tap right here and search for Morse code. So M-O-R, and you can see use Morse code. And once it's loaded, just tap on play. And it loads the option for you to click right here on the three dots. So tap on that and choose watch later. And this will open up Chrome. Just accept and no thanks. We don't want to sign in at the moment. So once it's loaded, tap on a bar up above and navigate into hard reset that info. like so just go and now from the app you want to tap on the button right here the three bars and choose download and once it loads you can see that there is a search field for a download stop on that and in here type in android 8 Android 8, there we go. And let's search. And this will open up only one result. So the FRP bypass app, as you can see, Google account protection bypass and Android 8 app. Tap on the download right here, then scroll down and tap on the download once more. Let's continue and allow. Tap on okay. And the download should begin and should be shortly after finished. Let's go on to downloads to see. Yep, yeah, there we go. So now it's finished and it should pop up with this. Uh, there you can open, stop on that. Go into the settings now. Enable this, so allow from this source. So we can actually install it and then go back. And now we can see that we have the option to install. And once it's done installing, you want to open it. So now we can see that we're in the app. So first thing in here, we want to go into Google Account Manager APK install and select for version 6.0. And again, go into the settings, allow from this source and go back and install. <coughs> and this time around, when it's finished installing, you just want to click on done and it takes you back to the app. And now tap on bypass FRP, select browser sign in, and tap on the three dots right here and again tap on browser sign in tap on ok and you can see that we can now log in with google account so tap right here and 
log in using your existing Google account. Um, now, if you don't have one, you can always create one on your computer, for instance, and then use it right here. Um, it doesn't need to be like an old one. It can You can create one and it will not change anything. Now, I already have one, so that's what I'm gonna use. I'm gonna put in the password. So let me that off the screen. Let's tap on sign in. You can see it's signing and once it's finished, it takes you back to the app. So now what you wanna do is hold power key and select restart. And once it's back on, let's again go to the setup process. But this time around, we should be able to just completely skip the confirmation. So, agree. And you can see account added, and it provides the name of the account that we have added right before the restart of the device. So let's tap on next. Now at this moment you just want to go through the setup process fairly quickly. We don't really care about um, setting it up considering we're going to perform another reset of it to basically remove anything that is on the device and that includes also uh, that also includes the previous account that was previously well blocking us so let's just deselect these finish okay so now we're done with the setup, so let's go into the settings. Yep, settings right here. And from here, let's scroll all the way down to... Where is it? Backup and reset. And from here, factory data reset at the bottom. And then you will get a message uh, that basically this will remove all apps, um, data, basically everything from the device that we have put on there. It also provides accounts that it will remove. So you can see that it removes the account that we have added, but it also removes another, another account, the one that was blocking us before, that isn't actually uh, provided right here. So after the reset, the device will be fully unlocked. Let's tap on reset phone and erase everything. And the process will now begin. So give it a moment for it to finish. And once it is, we should be done back in the setup screen. So I'll be back once the setup screen is visible. And as you can see, now the process is finished, so we can go through the setup process of the device. Now, I will once more go through the fairly quick one, skipping most of the things that I can, but because the device is fully unlocked now, you can set up your device as however you like. So you can connect to Wi-Fi and add passwords, add uh, Google, whatever you want, it will all work. So let's get to it now. Skip anyway. Now, as you probably already seen, I have skipped Wi-Fi connection, which normally is not available if the device is locked. So keep that in mind. Let's tap on next. More and more and accept. Let's 
skip for now and don't use skip for now skip anyway finish and we're now in the home screen with the device being fully unlocked so that is basically how you bypass the google verification screen and if you found this very helpful don't forget to hit like subscribe and thanks for watching